Hi, my name's Joel. I'm in procurement and finance at Regency Lighting, and I've been going here since I was around two. Hi, my name's Wesley. I'm an accountant, and I've been going here for about the last three years. Hi, my name is Elise. I'm an office manager at an aerospace lab, and I've been going here for about eight or nine years now. And we are just some of the members who go to GYA. So Grace Young Adults is a ministry for people in their 20s and 30s, whether you're in school or out of school. Richard will be there and he'll take us through what we talked about in the sermon. We'll have an opportunity to kind of talk about it as a group. We're gonna have elders and pastors um, from our church come and they'll have like a panel or Q and A's and we'll get to know them more and we'll get to know each other more. It's at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on the days. <laughs> Remember the time, time's important. It's not just like you come in and like we have no common denominator, like we're all there because of Christ. And I feel like that group is just very friendly because of that, because we know who we are in Christ. And so it's just, that just makes it so much more sweeter to have like that fellowship because it goes beyond just like friendship. But it's like these are your brothers and sisters and like you can sense that there. I mean, we've been talking about unity for the past like two years, three years in the church. And it's a good opportunity to kind of show that. Um, intentionally in the way that you build relationships. And it's cool because it's something that you might do intentionally, but then it's not necessarily hard, and it's not something that you have to really force yourself to do in the long term. But then over time, as you build relationships with them, it becomes super, super easy to just hang out and to talk about God, to talk about life, um, and to live life together. I first tried young adults when I was in college. At that point, I think I was more kind of going to church for myself a little bit. Um, Kind of like that grocery store metaphor, just kind of getting what I want. And uh, when I went, I felt like I don't fit in here, but I also like didn't make the effort to like get to know anyone, and then I just kind of stopped going. But now I think I have a different perspective about church and what brings people together and how it's not about me. And that's opened up like a whole new world of relationships that I never would have had before. Like if someone needs prayer, we can pray for each other and we can just reach out and just know how people are doing and not just keep it to a Monday night. Relationships just take a ton of time and if we only see each other once a week or some less than once a week, it just will take time to get past just talking about our interests and stuff, which is really good. But I'm excited that I think we're going to get more into the phase of actually talking about our lives and doing things with one another to where we actually want to share what's going on in our lives instead of feeling like at some small group and you feel like you're being forced to talk about your life and stuff. Like Joel said, become friends. Like not just people who are like, oh hey, hi, like see you on Sunday, that's it. Like I don't really know you, but like actually get to know people and actually get to like encourage them and build them up in Christ. And when you get to know like where someone's at, you know how you can do that instead of just like a cliche, like Christian phrase, but you can actually like encourage them. So I'm looking forward to like actually building friendships with people. We want to kind of build this community that's really tight and close knit so that people will have an opportunity to bring friends who might not normally come to church, friends who might not know much about God, or maybe you work with them, you're the only Christian they know. It's just an opportunity to kind of bring them somewhere and give them a spotlight into the life and the community and, and the love for Jesus and the love for each other that is taking place in our church. Yeah, I would just say come, like just come check it out. Just even for a couple weeks, give it a good try and just get to know the people that are in it and see who's there. I think you'll like it. You might be underestimating the, the amount of impact you could have on other people, that if you come you could really see the way that you bless others and the way that you pour into them. And on the other side, you really might underestimate the impact that these people could have on you. And so like she was saying, just come check it out, see what it's like.